Yeah, so I think the first part of it is it's changing, potentially changes into reactions between businesses, finance functions, clients and candidates. So, you know, what's quite clear is our candidates, and I said we deal, we deal with more than a million a month, um, our candidates want to interact with us in slightly different ways. And funnily enough, a very tech-savvy tech candidate interacts with completely different as to how perhaps a more conservative finance professional wants to deal with us. So partly, it means that you've got to think much more actively about how you interact with the markets. So, and that will lead then how individuals and businesses want to interact with our finance function. So we have to be much more open uh, than we had to do before. And then secondly, technology has given us in, in our own business a lot of advantages. So we already, you know, we set up, uh, we already had a shared service centre set up, but we've introduced a lot of automation into that shared service centre over the last five to six years. So for example, things like uh, digital portals. So all of our candidates who are temp candidates, they input all their data into that portal. Timesheets are automatically processed through the system, automatically signed off by clients. So combination of introducing some, some good technology, some, then some matching, digital matching technology. So rather than having to process and review lots of individual transactions and pieces of paper, we can use that digitally, we can match it digitally. And all of those have helped us save almost £5 million out of our back office function in the UK alone over the last five years. And I think then with good technology, and if you start to automate part of your back office, it also is enables you to get a lot more benefit. We set an Indian Shared Service Centre up. And again, the technology links between that and various operations in the world has given us some very good advantages.